The time has come for Atlantis to rise again. Aquaman is one of the oldest and most iconic superheroes around, and when he dives into theaters this Friday, he'll be met by two of his greatest foes. No pressure, gentlemen, no pressure. <laughs> Patrick Wilson stars as King Orm, and Yahya Abdul-Mateen II suits up as Black Manta, and they both join us live this morning, and they're lovely and friendly in, in real life. That's what they say. Yeah. A little scarier on the big screen <laughs> no, there. No, just misunderstood. There we go. You know what? You, act <laughs> you actually are. You're not bad guys in the movie. Right. You're just... Oh, he's down bad. No, well, I don't know. No, but, you, but, you, but the backstories to it, though, with how you end up where you are, they're legitimate yeah. concerns. For you, you talk about uh, the pollution and mm -hmm. everything that's going into the oceans. There's a, a real message in the movie. Absolutely. Well, I, mean, I think that's the thing. When you've got uh, villains in the movie and two bad guys, you've got to make sure that they both have their, their, their drive, their goals, right? And so ours are very different. Mine is certainly coming from a perspective of... Uh, being mad at the surface world for destroying the oceans, which is completely—I don't think anybody would argue that we no, pollute the oceans. You know, yeah. his is a little different. Though. Yeah, a little different, but still, also, little. I think something that uh, hopefully the fans can relate to to make it—you know—we yeah. always want to make the story more a bit more complex. You know, these aren't guys that are that are out to take take over the world. Yeah, you know, they, they they you know they have a very specific perspective and a, yeah. And you a point. You're talking about your family history with the, your, with the grant in the movie. Sure, but, sure, sure. Yeah. And where and what led you to where you are? So yeah. it's, it's it's great fun. But can you really get that angry at Jason Momoa? Is that possible? Oh yeah, it's easy. <laughs> sure. It was easy to do. Yeah, it's fun. Because we, we, I have to ask this for a, a couple of people here. Actually, a whole bunch of people here. What's it like working with his abs? Was it fun working with Jason Momoa's abs? <laughs> Morning. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, it's going great, man. Uh, it's fun. It's fine. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful man. <laughs> I, I had to man. You can't argue it. I had to ask for a very somebody. handsome man. Is it difficult with a movie like this? You were, there were actually water scenes, right? Were you actually filmed in the water? Yeah, well, the, yeah, he probably got more yeah. water than I did, That's truthfully, what I because I probably, of your sub. Look, I probably spent the most time in the water than anyone else on the, yeah. on the film. And just the irony is you can't breathe underwater. Right, right, right. The, well, the deal is when you're completely submerged in the film, then, uh, the, uh, then we shot it on green screen. Mm -hmm. So actually, some of the things that we would sort of fly around the room with look like we're made out of these camera stands, mm -hmm. even in the studio. Uh, and they'd stick like a giant sort of what looked like a tuning fork on top of it, and they'd literally drive you around the room so you could act like you're swimming. <laughs> it, it looked ridiculous while we were shooting it, but hopefully it'd come out a little different. Well, when you see it come together, uh, I saw it with my son yesterday. He loved it. I loved yeah. it. It's great. It's a big screen movie, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely... Um, it's an epic adventure. It's a, you know, uh, we're exploring with a new type of technology, you know, and we have the different worlds, the surface world, the underwater world, Atlantis. So it's de definitely something that, 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 that benefits from being seen on a very, very large, yeah. large scale. Go see it on a big screen. Yeah. I mean, especially in IMAX and there's the, and, and even with the IMAX 3D, which I haven't even seen yet, but, uh, but from what I understand, because so much of the movie is done visually, I mean, they've never been able to do this, these visual effects before. Mm -hmm. uh, they really are able to, to layer it and make each shot so just spectacular. So it's certainly something not to miss. Do you ever have these moments where you're like, they're adding this now? We're doing this now? Because it, it just is, it's fun over the top. Oh, yeah. Well, certainly for me, with most of my stuff is uh, in Atlantis. Mm -hmm. So most of my movie was spent, you know, hanging on wires with Willem Dafoe or Dolph Lundgren in a green screen and, yeah. you know, in funny costumes. It had no clue really what it would look like afterwards. Yeah. You know, his is a little more at least visceral. You got right, to right, touch right, things. Right, right, right. I got to touch things, look around, <laughs> you get, get to get wet, in the submarine, be frustrated, you, wet, you know right. what I mean? Fight, all that. <laughs> and, what, and what's it like? You've got some great, you've got Nicole Kidman, legendary actors in there, Nicole Kidman, Willem Dafoe, and... And Dolph Lundgren is Dolph showing Lundgren, up. Dolph Lundgren, uh, Tamora. Amber Heard, Tamora Morrison. Yeah, I mean the cast is unbelievable. That's the thing. You know, it's my fifth movie with James Wan, and the guy knows how to cast movies. He finds the right people for mm -hmm. these parts because he believes that no matter how big these spectacles are, you've got to tell the story and you've got to have characters you relate to. And this is coming from two villains. We don't, we don't, you know, care if you like us or hate us, <laughs> uh, but you'll care. Right. Yeah. And I think that's the important thing. Right. And was it, was it uh, interesting making the transition, because uh, James Wan has done a lot of horrors, going into something like this? I mean, not, not really, you know. I, I, I think we, we, as actors, you get used to doing different genres, and sometimes directors get pigeonholed, uh, sometimes even more so than, than actors. Uh, and this was a guy that, for me, I, I, I knew he could do any genre, so we just felt like we had more time and more toys and more people to play with. Yeah. So it was comfortable getting in there. There was no, no big adjustment at all? No, no. And uh, I was reading Jason Momoa was the prankster on the set. 
Did he play that... tricks on you? He didn't with me. Either. No, no, no. Maybe he's not just afraid of you. Not on me so much. He stayed away from us. Yeah. <laughs> he just didn't go near you. Well, you respect. Know, we were, right? we he was were... afraid. <laughs> yeah. No. He uh, apparently he 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 did with uh, with Amber. They. But you know that's that kind of fun relationship that they had with us. You know usually. You know, we we had a lot of fun in the gym. Yeah. We, we had a great gym yeah. built for us, which we spent way too many hours. Way too many hours time, yeah. You know, uh, but no, no, not too many. Pranks. Did you work out with him and hang out with him, even though you were kind of enemies in the movie? Yeah, yeah. we all kind of, you know, we we, you know, like Patrick said, we hang out in the gym, we ate in the gym, played yeah. music in the gym. You know, that was really just like the yeah. second. The second home away from uh, yeah. away from screening. So especially because you got so many storylines going, you yeah. know, yeah. Uh, without giving too much away. We didn't have too much to do together, but we spent more time in the gym, and we spent, and that was really the place where you could, even though we were there to do work, it was a real fun atmosphere. I, yeah. I missed that vibe. It was yeah, a good yeah, vibe. Yeah. All right, so you ready? For, does that mean there's a sequel on the way? Is that, <laughs> Go see since everybody way. was so happy and got along so well, it's a, we're going to sequel on the way. Yeah, no, well, there's 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 nothing on the way, but certainly <laughs> we would be down for it if it uh, you know was 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 right. Well, we we appreciate you coming in. It's a great movie. It's fun. And it's a great, perfect time to go over the Christmas holidays and go check it out. So thank you very much both for coming in. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And if you want to catch, pa catch Patrick and Yaya when Aquaman opens, it hits the theaters on Friday. We've got more on BT after the break.